Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do some for loops. So first we're going to create some functions. So the first one I'm going to call is uh, for loop 1. So this is going to be for loop 1. I'm going to call create a list here called card. And we're going to enter a few cars into here, BMW, Mini, Rolls, and Porsche. Okay, so I'm going to say four car, that's each individual car in the loop, in cars, which is in the uh, list there for car in cars, then we're going to have to do something. Print car. Now we're going to do a conditional if statement. So if car is equal to, let's say, rolls. We're going to go to for loop 2, which is going to be another list that uh, I'm going to create underneath here. So what we're saying is we're going to loop through this, and when we get to cars, so, sorry, when we get to this one here, rolls, we're going to stop looping here and we're going to jump to for loop 2. So I'm just going to create the function for that. So fine for loop 2. And this one I'm going to create a little list called numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's say seven, eight. So numbers there, and I'm going to say for num, which is short for numbers for num in numbers. Print the number. So this will print out uh, each number in this list, but we're going to give it a conditional again. So if num is equal to 2 for loop 3, I'm going to call it. So we're going to jump to another function here called for loop 3. So what we're doing in here, we're saying if the number in numbers is equal to 2, which is this one. In fact, I'm going to ramp it up a little bit. I'm going to say 5. So if the number is equal to 5 here, then we're going to stop this loop and jump to for loop 3, which I'm going to create now. Define for loop 3 is this one okay and we're going to call for loop 3 we're going to say letters okay so we're going to create a little list with some letters in something like uh, a b c d e okay that's enough there so Again, for letter in letters, print letter. So we're going to print each each individual letter, but we're going to uh, we're going to change this a little. So what we're going to say now is. 
if letter is equal to so that so if letter is equal to let's say d we're going to do something we're going to go for let's have a look loop one so we're going to jump back to for loop we're going to let's have a look so if the letter here is equal to D, then we're going to jump back to for loop one and continue over again. So this is just going to be like a continuous loop. So we have to call this function with for loop one. So we're going to call this function. And uh, now I'm just going to save it and we are going to run it okay so there we go it's just a continuous loop here so let's just uh, stop this so you will see there it's just a continuous loop it runs all the way through and then back to the beginning and all the way through so i hope you've enjoyed that and if you have remember to give it a big thumbs up Hit the subscribe button below, it'll take you one second and uh, I'll see you in another video. Bye-de-bye.